So Claudio, until we, we start um, uh, from my side, before we officially start, I want to thank you and uh, welcome you to this uh, great uh, webinar. Uh, and it's a really nice uh, opportunity to have you here with us. Um, how the How is the weather in London? You, you said that a bit like foggy uh, before we start the webinar, but I think a lot of people here from Greece want to know uh, how the how the weather is over there. Yeah, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, thanks, George. Thanks for having me today um, on your webinar. Uh, it's a pleasure to be part of it. Um, yeah, so, well, as everyone knows, the weather is not one of the greatest in London. So uh, compared to the Greece weather, that's uh, like, uh, I'd like to be there, honestly, at this moment. It's like really gray, dark gray. It looks like here in London is one thing, even during the summer 2023. It looked like it was February all the year. So oh. <laughs> it's really, really annoying. <laughs> I, I get that. I get that. I mean, I was typical uh, British uh, weather, I guess. And, and and the food, the food sometimes is good, some but some sometimes not. So <laughs> you need to you need to have a you know a good tooth to understand the, the good quality, I think, in some cases in London. Yes, that's true. Well, you have a really variety of um, different foods here in London, as you know. Uh, but being Italian, honestly, like, uh, and you, uh, the food in Greece and in Italy, I'd say is the best food in the world. So I think to be compared with those two countries. <laughs> that was the last question that I, I was going to uh, ask you because, you know, the majority will be Greeks. So we are very proud of, uh, of our cuisine. So <laughs> I know that. I know that. Well, it's one of the reasons why you have so many tourists as well, no? <laughs> exactly, exactly. But yeah. but let's, I think it's time for us to start. People were uh, getting, getting oh. in in all of our feeds. Um, the webinar is live also in, in different areas like in YouTube. Uh, it, it's going to be recorded as well. Uh, so I think uh, without further ado, Andrea, um, it's a good time for us to start. Yeah. And I, the floor is yours after making all the introductions. Fantastic, fantastic. So I would like to welcome everybody uh, and Happy New Year to everyone. And for those who work in the travel and hospitality industry, uh, good luck. So this is Vivestia's first webinar, introducing VR in the hospitality. Um, we are really excited and uh, we would like to thank, thank everybody for uh, joining today. Um, so uh, before I before we start the presentation, I would like to um, present the, the speakers. My name is Andreas Guinness. I'm the CMO and co-founder of Vivestia. Together with me is George Contaxis as well, who's the CEO and co-founder of uh, Vivestia as well. Hi, George. Hi. Uh, happy to have you here. It's a wonderful opportunity to um, be hosting this uh, webinar, Andreas. And uh, I think that during this webinar, it's going to be more educational. Uh, and we will try to bring life to a new technology, new innovation that is uh, going on in, in the US, but now is expanding also in Europe. And I think that Claudio uh, Sula from Matterport will be here, is here with us to help us um, uh, be more informative about all the different aspects of Matterport technology and how we can use this great advancement in our uh, favor in the travel and hospitality industry. Thank you, Andreas. So once again, I would like to say one more time, thank you to, to Claudio for joining. Um, so Claudio, would you like to tell us a bit about uh, your background and what uh, Matterport uh, does exactly? Yes, sure. Thank you for having me. Um, a little introduction about myself. My name is Claudio. Um, I'm from Italy. Uh, I've been working at Motherport as an account executive since 2021. Um, so straight after uh, or bet during the uh, COVID situation. Uh, so Motherport is a 3D digital twin company that started in the United States in 2011. Um, the main um, industry that Matterport was um, serving at that time was the residential real estate. But uh, during those years, we have evolved and now we are offering our services and our solution to uh, obviously different verticals and industries, including the travel and hospitality industry. Awesome, awesome. And, fantastic. And 
and to be to be honest, Claudio Matterport is uh, a leader in its uh, uh, software and three D twins. Um, and we when I mean we started searching for the best uh, partner and supplier out there. Uh, we were astonished by the 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 output that someone can get through Matterport's technology. So I think today it is it's extremely important to understand um, the differences as well that a Matterport uh, 3D virtual tour digital twin can offer. Uh, and I think that we'll have a better um, discussion about it uh, in, in later in the, in the webinar. Exactly, exactly. Yes. Sure. So uh, I suggest we see the agenda right now. So uh, we want to make sure that everybody knows exactly what VR is and what the virtual reality really mean. And of course, what the 3D uh, virtual tour means uh, and to how Motherboard differentiates from all the other technologies uh, that are live. So the next one, we were we are going to discuss why should people from the travel and hospitality invest in creating VR tours. And we are going to see all the advantages of that technology to different areas like marketing, sales and operation. For those who want to create their own virtual reality tours, uh, we are going to show them the roadmap and the, of the VR project. Uh, we are going to show you how to choose the right 3D partner and VR partner. A few words about Vivestia in the next webinars. And of, of course, finally, uh, we have some Q&As at the end. Okay, awesome. Thank you very much, Andreas. I'm going to step uh, on right this and talk about a bit about us, who we are, and uh, why you have been invited to this webinar. Uh, so Vivestia is um, a booking platform from Greece. Uh, we are a startup. Uh, we are around two and a half years around this uh, kind of industry and travel and hospitality sector. We are a double award-winning company from the Hellenic Chamber of Hotels. We have won Best Idea in Tourism in 2021, Best Startup in Tourism in 2022, and Best VR Innovative Solution for the Hospitality Sector in the Tourism Awards last year. What we are actually doing, we're leveraging uh, uh, digital twins and virtual reality tours to help travelers minimize the risk of their online choice. With regards to accommodations, villas, yachts, rooms, hotels, everything that can be booked online and people want to validate what the, the, the room is and how the, the ambience of the room is, we are getting there and we are helping them minimize this risk. But before we, let's say, start by discussing uh, the, the deeper down what's the virtual reality and how we can use it, we should uh, answer the million dollar uh, question. What is a 3D virtual tour? A lot of you, they don't know what this is. Some of you may have heard it. Um, Matterport Software and Matterport as a company uh, is attending a lot of uh, different exhibitions and there's a lot of uh, the details online that you can see what's a 3D digital twin. Uh, however, right now I would like to give you let's say in plain, simple words for you to understand what a 3D virtual tour is. So imagine that you own a villa or a hotel and you want to copy the, the property from the physical place to a digital place. So this is exactly what the 3D virtual tour or a digital twin is. It's an exact replica of the physical place into the digital world. And why we want it into the digital world? Because it's simpler, it's easier for us to share it to send it and make it more accessible to a lot of travelers, a lot of partners around the world at the same time. So uh, it's a great way for us to interact as well, because it's not like 360 pictures that you can actually just, you know, see them and that's it. A 3D virtual tour, a digital twin is actually something more immersive, more interactive. And we can categorize it in, in, in a long chapter of content that it's called rich media because it's not just a single thing. It's more than that. And for, for you to understand better uh, what we can actually create through uh, a 3D virtual tour, what's the output is, um, it's better to understand how Matterport is actually creating these 3D um, virtual tours and digital twins and actually the, the diversification of it and the beauty of it with regards to every other solution that is out there 
uh, lies into three different pillars. The first one is a dollhouse. What's a dollhouse? Keep it easy. I'm going to show you in a bit. Then the floor plans and then the walkthrough. So as you can see, we have everything, all the output that somebody needs to understand a property and actually uh, immerse themselves in it. And I'm going to start um, explaining and or better showing to you what's the first um, aspect of it, which is the dollhouse. And here, Claudio will help us a bit understand how a dollhouse is created. But before that, I would like to make a comment. It's like the dollhouse that we were playing kids physically with the with Ken, that Barbie, uh, you know, having the dolls is exactly, this is where the, the name came from. It's a name that Matterport gave it, uh, dollhouse. And actually, uh, as you can see, is a digital representation, fully digital representation of uh, of a hotel. This is our client, Mirage Geothermal Spa and Resort in Helkidiki. What you see here is actually the output after our input. So the input is, uh, we're using Matterport equipment and we're scanning inside, outside, exterior, interior grounds in specific points, specific locations. And then using Matterport software as well, we are getting this output, which is called the dollhouse and can give you a bird eye view from uh, for uh, this uh, property without even having a draw. So I think Claudio, I mean, that one is my favorite one. I don't know about you. Is it something that uh, uh, attracts your eye as well, or you have something else to share? So yes, thanks, George. So basically this is the top feature um, in terms of capturing the attention to, um, to, to our customers, obviously. So the Dolores view is um, a reconstruction of the uh, structure of the project, basically of the, of the property. So the way how we um, how the uh, the system works, how the software works, is that our uh, artificial intelligence cortex stitches together all the panels and uh, make it possible, basically. So all the panels, all the scan points that you will uh, need to do in a project will be stitched together. And if you have uh, more floors, you can add more floors and so on. And the system, the AI automatically will generate this amazing dollhouse view. Great, great, great. And and to be honest, it is quite impressive because it's quite accurate as well. Uh, and Andreas later on is going to show us some... Uh, some We're uh, going to take some uh, live tours as well. Because... <laughs> you see exactly what what we are actually getting. Yeah, yes, exactly. Uh, as you can see uh, from my background, uh, the dollhouse is my favorite fe feature of Motherport. So <laughs> yeah, I love it. <laughs> yeah, it's good. It's good playing and experimenting as well. So the next thing is the floor plan. So what's a floor plan? It's exactly a layout, but it's more fun. It's more interactive. And this is actually what we get as an output by using Matterport software and, uh, and cameras. So uh, here you can see uh, every every different room, uh, you can see it in, in pretty good uh, precision as well. It's again, now we're in the digital phase still, and you can see, however, the, the bedroom, you can read it from the label, the balcony, the bathroom, all the different areas. So you can easily, using this only uh, um, uh, digital twin, get a dollhouse and next a floor plan. However, I think the most fascinating of it, it's the next, uh, aspect, which is the virtual walkthrough. And I think uh, Claudio here, uh, 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 let's say second second after the dollhouse, the, the virtual walkthrough is my favorite one because it does exactly what we want people to do. This technology does it perfectly. We immerse ourselves inside every single room, every single digital uh, space as we are there in the physical place. Yeah, this is this is something really uh, important to be uh, understood as well. Is the fact that the, the 3D 360 tool is not the same like a 360, and the main difference is, as you can see from this slide, basically on a 3D tool you can walk through the property as you were there physically. So you can interact with the space because of the technology of our cameras that are using infrared technology or lidar scanning technology and um, the AI, it is possible to take actually measurements of the space. So say, for example, you'd like to measure the distance between um, the bed and the TV or the distance between the walls of 
how big is the door or stuff like that, you will be able to have a 99% accuracy on uh, on the measurements. Also, uh, the, the difference between um, a 3D digital twin and a 360 uh, virtual tool is because if you're going to shoot a 360 tool, then you will use a 360 camera, which will take only one spheric image, right? If you're going to use a 3D 360 tool, then during the rotation of the camera, you are not going to shoot only one spheric uh, panel, but during the rotation, the camera will shoot like 90 shoots, will take like 90 shoots. And then a um, combination between the depth data captured by infrared or LiDAR scanning in combination with a 2D will give you the best results. In fact, Matterport is offering the best quality of the 3D tools in the market at the moment, and we're leading it. That's, uh, that's impressive. It, we can reassure you about that. It's a technology that um, uh, we, we love, actually. And to be honest, yes, we had tested a lot of different, uh, uh, let's say, technologies out there. However, Matterport software, cameras as well, are uh, market leaders, in my opinion, and I think also in in the statistics world it's it's a market leader um so i think now it's the best time for us to really go through some examples so andreas i think that it's time for you to um i will start sharing my screen, share uh -huh. screen exactly and we can have a, qu a quick look of some of uh, our uh, cases some of our partners that we have uh, collaborated so far so, so you i think you can see my uh, my screen right Mm. Not yet, I think. Not yet. Oh, let me check once again. Let's go once more. How about now? I can't see it yet. Give us some time, maybe. Yeah, with some uh, technical bug. Um, Andreas, is it? Is it? Yeah, I think that we're not able to see it yet, uh, for some technical reason. No matter what, I'm, I mean, we're gonna, we're not gonna waste any more time. I think we're gonna do it uh, later on. Um, uh, I'm gonna go back to my presentation. Is that okay? You, you can see it now. You have li live feed. Yeah. 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 Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Uh, Andres, let's check on that so that we can continue. However, um, what Andres was uh, about to, to show us, and he's going to give us a brief um, understanding of how we can use the digital twins and the virtual tours uh, into the travel hospitality industry. Uh, sure. it, was, mm -hmm. it was an example of different hotels and villas uh, that we can uh, easily immerse ourselves. So Andreas, I think that maybe you can explain to us where we have used so far all the different applications of Matterport technology. So the thing here is that uh, VR uh, technology has applications in multiple fields with regards to the travel and hospitality industry, starting from uh, private villas in the States to hotel, hotel rooms, hotel facilities, like restaurants, spa, whatever. And of course, we have cruises and yachts archaeological sites, museums, Airbnbs, and of course, conferences. So the the value of showcasing these uh, fields in uh, in VR is, uh, is amazing, truly amazing. So the, the question here is why someone from the travel and hospitality industry should invest in VR? Well, a 3D virtual reality tour uh, will be obviously the most effective and selling uh, communication tool for for the travelers. You know, we asked uh, luxury travelers who travel in Greece, and uh, the statistics are amazing. Uh, they said they believe that 72% uh, of the travelers think that a VR tour can reduce the risk of the online choice. Because when you book something online and you get to the actual property, you see something completely different. Uh, the next one is that 7 out of 10 uh, would trust the VR to book their properties online, which is uh, really amazing. 76 of them uh, believe that a VR tour can help them understand the property in detail, which is obviously. 
And the, the, the last one, which is, I think, the most important, 74% of them would pay more for a property that has a virtual tour. And I would like to, to hear from you guys, how, how can you explain this uh, statistic? Because uh, how important it is for everyone to see the real thing, uh, but in virtual reality? Well, if if I may say, I mean, in, in this um, in, in this uh, uh, questionnaire, we asked actually two hundred people, uh, which is a big segment, uh, luxury travelers who spend uh, more than five hundred euros per night into finding the the perfect uh, summer accommodation. So, uh, getting a feedback from them that seven out of ten, because you can see that I mean it's common, like seven out of ten uh, who were questioned, uh, said that they would pay more for property. I think this is something more than just a digital content. It's a peace of mind. And um, having peace of mind in the travel and hospital sector, if you're organizing and planning one year before, you know, I had the, the, whole, the whole trip to Greece or to Europe or to a, a far, far distant um, destination, it's extremely important for you to have a good starting point. And I think the starting point is is where you wake up in the morning, and th this is exactly what we actually uh, bring to life with Matterport Technology. We're helping you guys, travelers, guests, uh, hoteliers, villa owners, to help people understand better where they will be waking up uh, the first day when they arrive at uh, a new destination. I would definitely pay more. I don't know about you, Claudio. Would you would you pay more for for a risk free solution? For sure, I would choose a property that has a 3D tour. I, I have a family. Uh, when I travel, I have lots of, you know, luggages, prams, push chairs and stuff like that. So I'd like to know exactly if everything will fit <laughs> uh, in that, uh, in that uh, house or hotel or whatever it might be. So yes, 100%, I'd prefer it. And this is not only me, but obviously all of um, the feedback that we are receiving from other customers. And I'm speaking about global customers here from everywhere, um, not only in Europe or not only in the United States, but globally speaking. All the feedback, the feedback is that a property that has a 3D tour uh, included on the listing is more likely to be uh, booked in uh, rather than having only 2D uh, pictures. Mm -hmm. Good. That's a, that's a, that's a good uh, statistic over there. So uh, I think that now uh, we can understand better and start, you know, crafting in our minds what's a 3D virtual tour. And as, as we have understood what this actually is, what it represents, I think now we have to dip, to, to dive a bit further down and understand how we can use it. How can we leverage in the travel and hospitality sector from this kind of technology? And I think we, we have to discuss three different pillars here. The first one is the marketing perspective, then the sales perspective, and then the operations, the in-house uh, perspective. And um, starting with the first one, uh, marketing. Well, yes, it is definitely a marketing tool. It is something that you can, uh, it can help you attract more people in your website. Uh, you will have a more interactive way to communicate with them. It's not just static pictures anymore or videos that are well, um, you know, montaged and everything is well orchestrated. Now you have something that everybody can use. It's so simple. It's so interactive, so immersive. Seamlessly, you can wander around every different uh, uh, aspect of the room and, and the hotel, the villa, the yacht. So it's extremely important for you to capitalize the power that this uh, digital twin has into building website engagement and making more conversions. So in the marketing world, uh, you will definitely use it to promote your brand because you become more competitive. Uh, you are using and capitalizing new technology, which is state of the art when it comes to the content around the uh, travel and hospitality industry. And also, uh, it can actually help you be more closer to your, sorry, closer to your um, travelers, to your potential clients, because you will be able to see and, uh, and track their actions. You can also uh, use some add-ons that we can 
later on discuss about uh, like pop-ups, like lead forms, and you can actually get a, a lot of new leads just from using this content. So I think marketing is definitely uh, a must have. <laughs> if I was in a marketing, let's say, uh, department of uh, a big hotel chain or that has a lot of different, you know, uh, hotels around uh, uh, Greece or Europe, I would definitely want to have this solution to my website because people are going to start getting inside my property and, and viewing and exploring everything in more detail. So I think definitely it's it's a good thing to have based on the marketing perspective. Uh, Claudio, what, what do you think? You, you need to add anything on that? Yes, sure. So uh, all the numbers that you are sharing, George, can mean um, everything, can mean nothing for someone, obviously. So here the, the most important thing to, to understand is like what would it be for you if you can increase your web engagement up to 300% compared to 2D pictures? Yeah. So what would be the benefit for you if a technology like Motherport helps you to increase the conversion rate up to 14%. So in terms of use cases, Motherport is an all-in-one rich media solution. So yes, it helps. Um, it's not only a 3D tool, first of all, uh, you get a full package uh, of a 3D tool. You can generate a guided tour. You can get flow plans. You can get 2D pictures, uh, 360 pictures as well. You can share on social media. You can embed on your website. Um, and obviously, a property that has a 3D tour uh, included on the listing or, or on the booking pattern, the customer spent three times more time on it rather than another one that has only 2D pictures. And we have seen different uh, case studies and we have received um, feedback from uh, from other customers that um, while you include the 3D tool on the booking pattern, for example, the customer will be focused on that one, will check better, will spend more time, will get familiar with the property and is most likely to book that property rather than jumping into another website and looking for something else. So this is how marketing uh, can um, can benef uh, can get benefits from it. But on the other hand, if everything that marketing does is to increase sales, no, so <laughs> to drive business, and then what a better solution solution rather than having a three D tool that you can showcase your property, that you can show your property, that you can open, you can have a twenty four seven open property to um, everyone, basically, uh, globally speaking, um, it, it is a better solution. So you as a sales uh, manager or uh, sales executive, having a solution like this in your hands, it would be much easier for you to showcase it, to uh, send a proposal, to speak with event planners, Mm -hmm. to be more competitive against your competitors, uh, decrease the time of, of the sales, obviously, and increase commissions and, and all of the benefits that you can receive by selling fast. Indeed, indeed. I think and that highlights the last bullet that says outperform your competitors. Uh, using that content is, uh, is truly amazing and people should take advantage of it. Uh, that's my opinion so far. <laughs> And you actually gave us a great pass because, yes, marketing comes along with sales. It, it's not, you know, a single thing. And of course, by using and capitalizing uh, in, in, the, in a proper way, your virtual reality model, your digital twin in your own website, you will be able to help a lot of people interact with you and also um, engage with you in a way that you can actually score more conversions. And, and that's, I mean, if we, if we go down to the basics, this is what this content is all about, okay? Helping you attract more customers, attract more eyes, and then capitalize this attraction and convert it into something. And here in the travel and hospitality sector, for example, you can uh, use this 3D virtual tour, the digital twin, to increase the conversion. And I think that uh, you have some uh, really good uh, metrics as well, uh, Claudio, that uh, from some case studies of a 14% increase in, in conversions. So this is extremely good as well. Uh, just from having a, a better content, 
right? Yes, sure. So obviously we have um, done some case studies with um, some customers and one of them is Vacasa, which is uh, based in um, the United States. And Vacasa obviously is a leading vacation rental management platform and they did kind of um, study internally and with properties that they had a 3D tour on it and properties that they didn't, so only photos. Really high quality photos, by the way. And it turned out that um, basically the increase on rental bookings was up to um, from 12 to 14%, basically. Uh, and the listings with the Matterport 3D tour were browsed like three times longer. And obviously, um, this leads to reduce the marketing costs because all of it, so the value proposition of, um, of this solution is to decrease the costs and increase the efficiency and uh, the return on investment. Exactly. So business. Exactly. And, and having said all that, it, it is by far, because I've used it in, in booking, one of the properties. I was a customer of this technology before even starting this own thing. I, and I saw all the great, uh, uh, you know, advantages of it. So yes, from a point, from a sales point of view, you can uh, capitalize this technology and sell seamlessly. Sim sim uh, you can promote better. You can cross sell as well. If you have, um, uh, let's say, um, uh, a spa, spa facilities, gym facilities, even tours, that you offer in a hotel or in a private villa, uh, then you can use the info points that we're going to discuss a bit further down and um, explain to your customers uh, using videos, using documents, pictures, what you offer um, to cross sell. Uh, so having said all that, uh, this is something that came up as we were working with Matterport and the three digital um, and the three uh, the virtual tour is that imagine a world without websites. Imagine that you don't own a website, you don't have anything, and you want to have a Matterport's um, a digital twin. In my point of view, and I think Andrea is, uh, will also agree, is something, that is, is something that you can use as a website. You can do whatever you need in there. You can have uh, external links in your uh, digital twin. You can have pictures in there. You can have floor plans, as Claudio said. You can export great uh, videos as well. Uh, everything content-wise and information-wise can be placed inside this digital twin. And after all, what's a digital twin for you to understand better? The output is a link, a www.mymatterport uh, slash everything else. And this is what we actually get. Then we can enhance it with some add-ons and such and such and bring life to the final product, which can convey every information, have the same functionalities as a website in, in, in the majority of them, okay, if it's not something special. So moving forward, uh, this is the, the operations and event planning pillar. Claudio, you said earlier about the measurement, um, and this is a live example of what a measurement is. Actually, this can help you uh, internally a lot of uh, properties. Either you are a villa owner uh, that uh, offered your villa for weddings, for example, or you are um, uh, a hotel owner with a lot of uh, conferences and different event rooms. You can actually help your event planners or everybody else who wants to have this information measure your space quite accurately eh? and get, uh, let's say, and minimize the back and forth in the information that you need to share. Stop the brochures. Please stop using brochures. I think it's that's old school. Now we have this kind of stuff. It's much more fun. And, uh, and I think that you can organize uh, as well online trainings. So one of our clients, uh, they were uh, the the hotel was closed and they said we need to um, uh, bring more people in and explain to them uh, how the hotel should operate and such and such. So they they gathered all the people in one room and they used uh, this content to actually train them uh, and not you know remotely not even on site and explain to them where they should go how they should place. Um, the the pillows or uh, the culture on on the on, on the table, so you can have a lot of things 
using this technology, either it's from the marketing perspective, the sales, or internally. Uh, so I think I think Claudio measurement is a great aspect of the three D, as we said, um, a virtual. Yeah. Tour. If if you um if if I can if I may, I'd like to add something else here on the operations part of it. So, um, great point. Uh, the the use case that you just shared about the hotel being closed and we wanted to train new staff and all of that. So this is not. This is um, what our customers are doing. So if, um, because this is an all-in-one solution, in one part, you can use it to promote, um, increase the web engagement, the time spent online, and uh, increase sales and conversions and everything. But on the other hand, the internal departments can use it for other purposes because it is an all-in-one solution. And it does include not only the 4K quality and 134 megapixel of it, but also you will be able to download technical files, such as um, point clouds in XYZ and in OBJ E57 files. Sorry, guys, I'm being a little bit technical here, but it is important for yes. all the departments to have a better understanding of it. So say, for example, most of the hotels, um, when they finish the season, they close down and they would start some renovation jobs, right? So right. what they do, they will go to um, hire someone to come and do a survey, to take measurements again from, from the start. So they will go and engage with an external company to do all of that. But the good news is that with a technology like this, you will be able to have that kind of information already in your package. So you can download the point cloud directly from, uh, from the model and you can use it, you can send it to your architects or um, interior designer or stuff like that, and they can start to work on that file rather than spending more money. So what does this mean is that you can accelerate the renovation phase. Um, you can be more efficient. Uh, you can reduce the time spent on the renovation side, and you can uh, be ready for the season and be more prepared. Exactly, 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 exactly. This is what, what Claudio actually said right now, if, if to, to understand as, you know, I'm trying to understand as well, is that this is uh, uh, everything from a content, you can get everything, not only content that you can use in social media or your website, but also get engineering, uh, let's say data that you can use internally with your architectures, as you said, with your engineers, or with your technicians to make your life easier. So, you know, there are a lot of ways that you can capitalize of, of, of this trend. And I think, Andreas, you have something um, really good to discuss about it in the next slide as well. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, as everybody knows, users are, um, are, less, are going to find more and more information online. Uh, however, the content uh, has some limits, okay? Uh, for example, you see this beautiful picture. It, it is a nice uh, room, hotel room with uh, accessibility features. Uh, however, I'm going to, to ask myself, does this image convey the right information to people with disabilities? And the answer is no, it doesn't, because we need more information. Uh, especially for people with disabilities, which is a huge, huge market actually, and um, especially the Greek hoteliers and Greek uh, professionals uh, haven't taken advantage of that market. Uh, using, fortunately, there are virtual tours and three D virtual tours. Now there are all the there is all the information that people with disabilities need using Matterport features as you, as the picture demonstrates you can measure everything. So it's really important for them to have this information uh, using their favorite devices. So at the same time, we have users that navigate the models, navigate the tours, and at the same time, uh, professionals that open up new markets, generate more revenues, uh, satisfy better their clients and uh, outcome their uh, competitors. And to me, this is uh, really, really important stuff. And, uh, of course, I would like to point out uh, with regards to the sustainability, which is the next slide. Uh, as the statistics demonstrate, 
uh, tourism, yes, has a carbon footprint, obviously. Uh, and the transportation, it, it is uh, a major, uh, plays a major role in this uh, problem. So, Claudio, uh, Motherport has published some uh, statistics, some, some studies that says that you can decrease the CO2 emissions using uh, 3D virtual tours. So if you can explain to us a bit about this. Of course. Uh, yeah. Of course. So, um, yes, we have published a report. is available on our website and everything. So basically, uh, what we have done, we have um, done some um, surveys and um, obviously uh, case studies. So we took some customers and we were measuring how much time do we reduce for a customer? So say, for example, if a customer during the year will need to travel, um, I don't know, 50, needs to take like 50 flights to go and physically inspect the facilities, right? Because this is his job. And if we to provide a 3D digital twin technology that he can remotely inspect the properties, so to make sure, for example, that the compliance uh, compliance is, is fine and uh, all the safety acts and everything are fine in, in a building, for example, he can receive a digital copy of it. So he will not be required any longer to travel to that property, say, for example, from London to Milan or to in Germany or in, I don't know, everywhere in the world, in Greece or whenever. So he will receive a digital copy of, of the property. He will um, remotely inspect it. He will make sure everything is fine or where it's not fine. He will suggest some changes and stuff like that. So being able to track those flights, okay, but also being able to track the customers, the clients of our customers. So say, for example, if we have a um, hotel, chain as the customer okay so and they have 10 hotels and they are collaborating with different event planners for any event an event planner will need to travel or to drive or to go there physically to take measurements to see the space and so on so what if they sent a digital copy of the property of the meeting room or of the conference room or of the hall or the swimming pool area or the garden or anything like that so how much time the clients of our customer will spend less, will save from not being required anymore to go there physically or if they want to go there and see to kind of um, survey in first place, take measurements, make sure the space is fine. Then if they decide to go with that space, then they will need to go to return there to make a planning and, and all of that, right? So mm -hmm. with having the digital twin, if they forgot to take a measurement, for example, they will need to go back there. So right. by having a digital copy of the property on their hands, all of this is not needed anymore. So this is how we have tracked it. And this is how um, any company that use um, a solution like this is going to reduce the carbon footprint. Exactly. And, and because we have a lot of marketeers uh, some of them represent some major groups. I think it is part of the CSR as well, uh, corporate social responsibility, to minimize the 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 carbon footprint. And yes, this is something that actually uh, we were discussing about that before the webinar starts. Seasons are changing. The weather is changing. Uh, we we have been witnessing uh, everybody this kind of phenomenon. So I think that you know placing a small, let's say tiny tiny piece of rock into this sequence it can create a bigger effect so um everybody should start thinking about this uh, this uh, uh, this uh, type of csr strategies as well uh thank mm -hmm. you for this and i will uh, continue by actually uh, explaining to everybody here what's the process um is like so uh, for you to create your 3D uh, virtual tour, the digital twins, you need to scan every room type or every uh, area of the property, either it's uh, indoors or outdoors. Uh, from Vivesta's perspective, we would like and we love uh, 3D virtual tours that have both interior and exterior grounds because we are in Greece, we're based in Greece, and a traveler, when they 
want to see property they want to see the uh the the, the you know all the the outdoor area with the pool what it has so extremely important for us to uh, walk inside and outside as well so you will be able we are going to scan everything uh, when we are creating this kind of content and uh we are going to add a lot of information with our info points Matterport can help us has helped us with the info points to add more information inside the um, every single 3D digital twins. In Matterport language, they called matter tags. Here, because we want to make it more friendly to, to you guys, we, we call them info points, informational points, uh, just for you to understand better what we're talking about. And this is exactly uh, what uh, a Matterport uh, 3D uh, digital twin can give us. Uh, a way for us to share more content inside this single link that is produced. And we can send this to our clients, to our partners. And along with that, we can send videos, pictures, documents, everything that we need. So is it a long process? Well, not that long, if I may ask, if I may say. So the roadmap of a, of a really successful uh, virtual project starts with a scanning sequence, okay, which can take up to eight hours, four to eight hours, depending on the size of the property. In some cases, it can take up to 40 minutes. In, in you know, bigger projects, it can take more hours. But that depends also on the ability of the person who is actually doing the shooting, the weather as well, everything to be well orchestrated and, and in place. Then we have the editing, adding more data inside the model, like the matter tags and info points that we said. It's a bit back and forth communication with uh, the uh, the property owners and the, the the people of the of the hotel maybe to add more information uh, with regards to the uh, property. And then we actually export the uh, the URL. We share the URL with you. We also help you embed. The, this uh, URL into your website so you can have your digital twin embedded into your website because this is this is not something that uh, your client is going to be redirected somewhere else. It is inside your own website. So you don't lose track. You can track uh, uh, your clients. You track every every movement in your website. However, in this, in this uh, you know, point, I would like to say something which is quite, for us, quite important. And this is selecting the perfect Matterport 3D virtual partner in Greece. Because we're talking about the Greek market now, a lot of you are um, uh, uh, operating in the hospital sector within the Greek borders. So it is extremely important from our point of view uh, to help you understand how to choose the perfect Matterport 3D virtual tour partner. And uh, we have, uh, let's say, collaboration with a lot of them, and we want to help you out understand which is the best content creator for your case, uh, based on four different pillars. The first one is that you need to evaluate the equipment. You need to make sure that they have the best equipment that uh, it is out there. Either it's a Matterport Pro 2 or a Matterport Pro 3. You, can, you need to understand the differences uh, between an Insta360, for example, or a, a mobile phone uh, getting um, uh, this uh, the data and those type of um, high uh, caliber cameras. And then you need to have, uh, let's say, a better understanding of the scanning process so that the, the output, the outcome is easy for someone to walk, okay? So this is extremely important. Uh, then the second pillar is establishing a long-term relationship because this virtual content is a live content. It's not something that you can get in a USB stick or a CD and keep it in a drawer. It's something that it's live and you need to update it. So you need to have a really good relationship, either you individually or the person, the technical team with this uh, partner. Then the enhancements, you need someone, a content creator that can help you add more in your virtual tour, maybe for you to get more conversions based on how you operate and your brand is. And the fourth one, from, from my perspective, the, the, the most significant one is having a partner, a, co a content creator that can help you master the capitalization process of this 3D virtual tour. Because having a 3D virtual tour is good, but capitalizing on it and using it in the right way, it's amazing, okay? This is why we need you to understand and choose the perfect 3D virtual partner out there based on these four pillars, okay? So 
uh, I think that we have covered everything with regard to the 3D virtual tour. Uh, and this is the part that we are going to spend three more minutes to explain to you what Vivestia does and help you understand how we can help you using Matterport technology and Matterport software to create your digital twin. And to be honest, at Vivestia, we think of ourselves as uh, an one-stop shop. Uh, starting from the consultation of how to do the project, how to create the virtual uh, reality content, uh, what equipment we should use, how we should film, down to capitalizing the virtual reality tours in your own website and also to our 100% virtual tour booking platform. This is something important for us and we want to be and we market ourselves out there as a one-stop shop uh, with regards to the virtual tours. So we use Matterport technology and software to help you create the, the VR either with our in-house team or with our uh, the help of our uh, beloved freelancers who are part of our team as well. Then we help you upgrade your uh, virtual and digital twin, then helps you understand how to use it, your sales team, how to use it, how to increase conversion. And also we take care of the validation process. So that means that every year we're going to ring the bell and say, hi, is the property the same as the digital copy? And why we want to do that? Because we need to protect you as well from, let's say, uh, disappointed guests who will see the virtual tour and see something different because you have done renovations, starting doing new things such and such. So uh, we want to be a partner along the way. And based on that, uh, I would like to just say a few words about our clientele so far. So we have been working with uh, a lot of great companies in Greece. Some are some of them are cornerstone of the travel hospitality industry, um, from private properties, private estates down to uh, resorts and international brands. And also we have uh, late, la latest um, in, in 2023, we have expanded into the yachting industry with Vernikos Yachts. Before that was Variety Cruises in Greece and also in Croatia. And uh, we're helping every single one of our partners to understand how to capitalize the virtual tours and how to make a ROI out of them, return of their investment, because it's an investment in their company. As we, as I said, we're a double award winning company. And with Butterball, we have strong you know, bonds because uh, one of uh, <laughs> our, yes, and creation, yeah, because one, one of our, um, uh, virtual reality models was actually featured uh, on, on Matterport's blog. Uh, and it was actually a really nice story, luring the eye towards a great gateway, a really nice villa in, I think Andres was in Corfu. In Corfu, this this will actually is like a museum. So we had so so much information that we had to share uh, with the clients. Uh, maybe from the dollhouse, you you can point out all the different matter tags, uh, information points. Uh, so yeah, we are privileged to have been featured to, to Matterport's blog. Exactly, and and just to start and wrapping up everything, I think uh, Adria, we uh, Claudio, and you have answered majority of the questions as we were uh, going going through this this panel. Um, I think, Andrea, uh, would you like to make um, uh, answer? Of course. Of course. Uh, so first of all, I would like to hear what is the Motherport's vision and mission with regards to the travel and hospitality industry. You know, we are Greeks. Uh, we have sun, <laughs> we have beautiful seas. So this is our main industry. So I'd like to hear what what the technological giant would say about this industry. Yeah. So thanks for the question, uh, Andrea. So as you know, uh, because you are using the technology on a daily basis um, better than me and you, something that to be mentioned here is the fact that uh, you were mentioned in that blog because you are a Motherport 3D technician certified which means that you have lots of experience, you have been checked and, and all of that. So um, this is really important to be mentioned. But uh, you were using the Proto camera before, which has an uh, infrared technology and it's great for indoor scans. Now, recently we have released the Pro3 LiDAR scanning camera, which is great for outdoor captures as well. And this is kind of commitment of Motherport to better serve the TNH uh, sector, isn't it? Then. Obviously, the platform is um, 
updating and improving day on day thanks to our um, gigant uh, library, I'd say, uh, mm -hmm. the biggest one in, in the world. And um, yeah, I mean, uh, the TNH is really important for us um, as, as, an, as an industry. Obviously, uh, what I'd like to um, point out as well are the, the top 10 use cases that uh, Matterport can be used in the travel and uh, hospitality industry. I don't want to go into much detail, but um, just to, to point those 10 uh, top 10 use cases, which are first, obviously, marketing, customer engagement, then the events, um, which means sales and marketing includes uh, all together, then training, uh, then the compliance, so which fits under the operations and inspections, then uh, we call it like um, AEC, uh, which means architectural engineering and construction uh, projects or sectors, which fits uh, under reconstruction and, and repair that, I, uh, that we mentioned previously. Um, then uh, the insurance, which um, insurance and risk management, basically. Obviously, having a 3D tour, uh, an exact uh, digital representation of, of the space helps to speed up the claims processes if anything ha happens to the property. So reduce that um, timing with the insurance companies that are so painful, unfortunately. And then for uh, another use case for, for the chains is um, the PIP which means property improvement plan. And it turns out that uh, our technology is really helpful to obviously accelerate that, um, that process and um, obviously to make sure that um, the hotel property is fitting into the compliance and has all the brand standards that they, uh, they need to, to have, obviously. Um, what else? Uh, did I forget anything? No, yeah. I think, <laughs> no, I think I think you cover you've covered everything here. Um, uh, so yeah, I mean, it's it's really um to understand what is the use case, what the customer needs, and then obviously um there are lots of features in the platform such as the matter tags, flow plans, the blue functionality that is helping our customers to be compliant with GDPR uh, and the data, privacy data that is um, blurring out faces or sensitive information or uh, stuff like that. And yeah, uh, lots of uh, lots of features in the platform. Nice, nice. Uh, Claudio, I think because in Greece it's five thirty, so people are starting to get yeah. trying to get back. Get home. hungry. <laughs> get hungry as well. Um, I think I think that it's time for us to have a wrap up and and actually say that this is um, the first of a series of webinars uh, with regards to the uh, creation of virtual reality tours, three D digital twins in the hospitality sector. Uh, the first one. Uh, it was in English because uh, we had a beloved guest with us today, uh, Claudio. Claudio, once again, thank you very much for joining. Uh, it is extremely important for us to have you here because we are trying to help hoteliers in Greece, villa owner, property managers to understand new ways to promote their properties and elevate their, uh, you know, uh, uh, digital their businesses. Yeah. Exactly. So uh, coming up on the 18th of January, we're going to have uh, a meeting with regards to villas. Every next webinar is going to be in the Greek language uh, because you need to convey some information in, in a more, uh, let's say, easy way for you guys. Then uh, hotels uh, on the 23rd of January. Coming up, uh, yachts and cruises on the 25th. And the two last ones, the on the thirtieth of uh, January and the first of February, they are going to uh, we're going to discuss about have you created a virtual tour now what and help you understand how to capitalize it and how to use it in a better way, and the last one how to use add-ons into your own virtual tour to make it more appealing and attractive using a third-party software. Uh, so again, thank you very much, Claudio, uh, for being here with thank us. Thank you. 
Uh, you, and us, we, we promise you prom personally to have a point when, when we visit uh, next year <laughs> in London. Uh, it's on us, definitely. <laughs> and, uh, you are welcome, guys. Um, thanks for I having think, me. It was a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you very much. And I think that you will be also around uh, when people have questions. Uh, we're going to send uh, people. I mean, the, the webinar is live to different platforms. We're getting some uh, messages we're going to send the details of Claudia as well. Maybe you have some more questions. Our um, uh, website is always open for you guys as well. And uh, LinkedIn, Instagram, and YouTube that we can answer some questions. Thank you very much for being here. Thank you, everybody, Andreas and my team as well. Uh, Claudio, take care. See you uh, in a bit. Take care. Thank you, everybody. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.